I think by the end of the month, should be able to really pull in through here. I mean, my fat is gone from there. There's no fat there anymore, really. Um, but I have a little bit of, it's just kind of hard to describe. It's just a little tightening up. It's a little bit of refinement of the, of the nutrition. Um, all it will really be for me is just to eat a little bit leaner meat for just a couple of days and a lot of stuff will come together. And then just the training and the accumulation over time, I think that we'll get some striations through the legs by the end of the month. You can see some separation here, that's new. Some of the other separations kind of getting new. And it's just like sometimes as you're coming down, you lose a little bit of like density. Like I said, it's hard to kind of describe. You lose a little density and you lose a little bit of size each time you kind of shrink down and tighten up. But I think I'll be able to tighten up in time and uh, be full enough at the end of the month with a little bit leaner sources of protein to still look even quite a bit uh, better than what I got right now, which I think is, to be honest with you, just a little, a little softer than I was about a week or two ago. And a lot of that has to do with just, there's been a little decrease in my walking. So let's see if I pump that back up again. I've been walking three times a day, but before I was probably walking about five or six miles a day. And right now I'm probably only walking about two or three. I'm gonna bring that back up again. A little rehab type stuff for the elbow. My elbow's been a little junky. Just trying to get blood in around it. But yeah, my two weeks of carnivore. How's it going for me? It's going amazing. Can't really, can't really put into words to you guys without sounding like a complete dick face, but I can't really put into words to you guys, A, how much it means to me that you guys tune in or, and are so interactive on this channel. The second thing that I'm really excited for each and every day and, and pumped about is how much creativity and how much creation comes from Slingshot World Headquarters. The amount of content that we shoot, Carlos's involvement with Mark Smelly Bell YouTube channel, uh, Andrew Zaragoza's involvement in our podcast and in SEMA and Smokey's involvement with assisting the podcast and putting together great content. Ryan Soper's involvement of being head of media, uh, Angela, who's training in here with me today. I mean, guys, and that's just, that's like, that's just a side. That's just a side. I didn't even mention the work that I do with Tom, who you guys have seen before. Tom is our uh, bodybuilder guy who hit a bodybuilding meet recently. He was training with me a lot. He and I will get back in the swing of things and start training again together. Tom Thornton and Tom and I are creating products that are going to blow your mind. You guys are not even going to believe it. And they're accessories. They're accessories to stuff that you would use at the gym. But you're going to absolutely love it. And you're going to be so proud that you've been part of Slingshot. And you've been riding with us the whole time. Because you're going to be like, see? I effing told all you guys how damn good these guys are in 2015. You didn't listen to me. Well, everybody's going to know in 2021. Everybody's going to know. Especially because we have a supplement line that we're dropping too, which is called Within You. Because it's my belief that everything that you need is within inside you. We look outside for answers. The answers aren't outside. They're right in here. You already know them. They're already there. The questions you guys ask me, hey, how do I lose 20 pounds? <laughs> you already know the answer. You already know what I'm going to say. You know what I'm going to say. You watch the channel every day. You already know. A lot of these answers are within you. They're just confirmed by other people that you might look up to. Um, but speaking of within you, that's the supplement line. And the uh, first thing out of the gate is our uh, Mark Bell Steak Shake. And I say that with a lot of pride and excitement because... What a cool name to have, Steak Shake. Mark Bell Steak Shake. I mean, sometimes these things are weird for me because as much as I love steak, as much as I love protein shakes, I mean, they have been a big part of my life. But the Slingshot is my baby. <laughs> like the Slingshot was something that was created up here because I tore my pec many times, so I hold it very dear and close to my heart, literally and figuratively. Um, but the Steak Shake, <laughs> That might have more mass appeal. 
maybe uh, maybe more people will know me for the steak shake when this thing's done and over with more so than the slingshot I don't know anyway I do appreciate everyone tuning in it's been a great two weeks for me hopefully you guys are feeling good enough to flex them up and to hit up a double bicep pose even if it's not flex Friday <sighs> guys don't be afraid to do this especially at your own house your own mirror find find something to do with your legs flex them up don't worry if they look skinny don't worry if they look fat don't worry if your belly is looking fat if you've been training your arms and you've been training in the gym for a little bit with any bit of consistency you're in the right to give us some double guns and throw up a double bicep shot maybe it's not something you're excited about now but you can look at it and you can work at it and say I'm gonna work at this but what I want you to try I want you to look in the mirror okay and it's easy for us to sit here and point out our flaws that's all I see when I look in the mirror I don't know about you guys but like that's all like I'm not talking about you looking at me I'm talking about you looking at yourself all you see is are the flaws a lot of times that you have and some of us all they see is is, is the good right and we're too much that other way I want you to confidently throw up a bicep pose look at the difference between this like oh man like uh let me try to I'm not usually in that frame of mind but all right I put myself there okay I'm not good enough you know I'm you know I don't feel that like big and strong and and you just kind of like half-heartedly throw up a bicep pose and maybe your posture is a little forward or you're just like a little bit like this try to stand big tall pull the chest up pull the shoulder blades back I know this seems like some weird stuff but this is stuff that can really help you a lot when you walk into a room if you walk in like this people are going to turn and think that you're somebody <laughs> whether you are or, not, or aren't it doesn't really matter you got their attention they, they turned around and they said who's that that guy's different that guy's standing different oh look at that guy's walking a little different that guy's talking a little bit di di bit different be made out of something different stand tall stand proud and maybe you do have a big fat belly maybe you do have big fat love handles what do you have that's good though do you have a big chest you got some big arms or something you got big calves whatever it is stand look at the mirror and be like check these fucking arms out like look at them <laughs> look at them yourself hoist them up there and feel good about yourself that's what this whole process is about I want to make sure that everyone understands when we're dieting when we're walking and when we're fitnessing when we're lifting we're in there for one reason we're in there for one reason we're in there to feel better about ourselves to feel better to feel better not to feel worse yes we I might go in there for some mayhem here and there and we like to mix it up here and there and have it be difficult and strenuous because we know on the other side of pain is going to be results right uh, and you're gonna find your purpose through that a lot of times or at least find what you think your purpose is uh, but the whole point is to feel better and then think about where training starts I want to know if your uh, quad muscles or your bicep muscles your pec muscles did your pec muscles tell your brain hey uh, you know we need to be a lot stronger uh, in case we ever run into a, an event where you need to push a car off your body <laughs> or uh, we need to be able to hold more groceries so you, you better get a whole lot stronger and bigger no it doesn't happen that way the conversation to get in the gym starts in one spot where does it start it starts right here between your ears and behind your eyes between your ears and behind your eyes is where it starts it starts with a thought I want you to go back trace your steps back and think to yourself why did you go to the gym in the first place what are you there for what are you there to do because maybe if you know why you're there maybe it'll be easier to get it done every day oh yeah I'm there because I'm tired of being the same person I was yesterday I'm tired of being what everybody already thinks of me everyone already thinks of me as they think I'm fat and they think I'm lazy How's that for motivation? 
Do you need a motivational speech from me or Cam Haynes or anybody else? Or do you need one from within, within you, what's inside you already? Who's counted you out? Who are these people? Write them down. <laughs> Check that list every day. Start a hit list. I had a hit list at one point. Unfortunately, yeah, I need to start a new one. <laughs> Unfortunately, everyone's been crossed off of there, but um, you can start your own. Start your own hit list. Stack up your own bodies. Stack up your own wall of bodies. Uh, when, when you're in the gym and when you make that conscious decision that you wanted to get in the gym because you wanted to be recognized by somebody, you wanted to be attractive to somebody else, you wanted to be attractive to a group of people or whatever it was, you wanted to be cool, you wanted to be strong, you wanted to fit in. Um, we're all striving for the same thing. We all just want to be significant. We all just want to matter, you know? So don't forget the reasons on why you got yourself into the gym in the first place. It's because you wanted, if we go down to the root cause, you wanted some form of self-improvement so that you can feel better about yourself in this world, in your community. So don't, you can't lose sight of that. You cannot lose sight of that. That is the most important thing. That's something that you need to hold on to. And don't allow yourself to get ter deterred from that just from one bad situation. The gyms have been locked down, but for how long? It really hasn't been that long. <laughs> it hasn't been that long. And let's say that you felt you were so restricted, you honestly lost your way and you lost your fitness and you didn't want to do it. Yeah, I, I get it, I get it. But the gym, this whole thing hasn't been that long. So you don't have an excuse and a lot of gyms are opening back up. So I want to see you guys back in there. But let's not lose sight of the reasons on why and where it all starts from. It all started in here, in your brain. Stay connected to that. Strength is never weak this week. This is never strength. Catch you guys later. <gasps> Boom, take that, bitches. Whoops.